here's my third knife. Uh, this is the actual knife I'm going to use. I'll be testing with this. The blade is heat treated exactly the same as the other two I made and uh, tested here at home. The handle is desert iron wood, just a real straight grain piece. It should be real nice and strong. It's a through tank construction. I have a pommel nut here and uh, German silver fittings, little accenting grooves, and a 1500 grit finish um, just to make it look nice. I've got my mark in here, nice taper to the blade, and I've chopped through lots and lots and lots of 2 by 4s with this thing, and it's done really good. Cut a bunch of rope, uh, even whacked on this really old dried out piece of antler for a while. Uh, the knife held up real good, so tomorrow I'm going to take it and test with Jim Walker, and hopefully it'll fold up and do everything just right. Okay, we're good? Yep. Very good. Yay. Remember for his journeyman? You, you, he's practiced since that last time. <laughs> yeah. That's why I like to see him fall straight down like that. You know that, that uh, you've got the right angle on it. Right here? Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, good. <laughs> You've been practicing on that. Yeah. I must have cut about 32 by fours with this thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh. It's over. <laughs> oh yeah! Didn't it did any better? It, it didn't. It didn't even crack, did it? No, it didn't bend back didn't at all it. either. I, see, I've got it. I heated the edge with the torch, uh -huh. and I only edge quenched. You see that that hardening line yeah. right there? Uh -huh. So all this is dead. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> Woo! Good, good job. Yeah, let me take this tape off here. Look at the handle. See if it did anything. I don't like it did because I, I tested those other ones with pine just to see if pine was even going to be strong enough and this yeah. iron was a lot stronger. Plus it's a through tang and it's all epoxy together. And yeah. I didn't hear it. You'd normally hear it if it... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm back from Arkansas after taking my performance test with Jim Walker. Uh, here's the knife. Held up really good. No edge cracks or anything. Uh, handles real good, no cracks in that or anything like that. Uh, the spacer still fitting real tight up against the blade. Um, went great. This is my journeyman test knife I used uh, two years ago. So you can see here the blade actually sprang back a little bit further on my Master Smith knife than it did uh, my journeyman one. 
that wasn't the idea at all. All I wanted it to do was uh, not break. It doesn't matter how much it stays bent. Uh, I'd like to thank Caleb of Caleb Royer Studios for putting all this together and uh, editing it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.